This is The Mysterious Outpost. It's like, look, this is this is it. Everybody, boys, girls, gentlemen, dogs, you know, porcupines, whoever's listening, Mike. <laughs> this is it. This is the beginning of disclosure. Now, how do I how can I say that? Because this piece of video, which I presume you're going to be including as part of this uh, conversation. I surely will. Was shot back in 2004 by two Navy F-18 pilots of an extraordinary UFO, classic UFO spindle shaped rotating it's on a flare system which is a forward infrared uh, forward looking infrared radar so it's not a visual image it's an infrared image and there's a glow around this craft which is incredibly symmetrical it's got an axis it's got a spin as i said it's a spindle shape like you're looking at a circle slightly you know off edge on mm-hmm. and this and these two f18s are chasing this thing around the sky apparently off San Diego on November 14th of 2004. Now at Enterprise, we don't do UFOs, but this is no longer a UFO. This is an IFO. Mm -hmm. This is an identified flying object. It's a real thing caught with state-of-the-art technology. Two Navy pilots. Oh, did I mention that it's part of a five-year official Pentagon UFO secret, top, top secret project to investigate UFOs? which was commissioned by the uh, uh, speaker of the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the uh, uh, senior senator in, in the Senate when he was, you know, um, uh, senior senator, uh, Harry Reid from, from Nevada. And he and a bunch of colleagues got together and they put some dark money, black money over into the Pentagon to look at this stuff. All the while, the mainstream is telling us, go away, guys, nothing to see here. This is all nuts. It's all in your mind. It's all like... And you're looking at sparkles in your brain when you close your eyes at night before you fall asleep. This isn't real. No, this is real. And the way this is being treated, I haven't seen one commentator, one analyst, one network news person give this the kind of giggle at the end of the uh, new show kind mm-hmm. of thing. This was in the middle of Chris Math- uh, Chris Matthews, Chris, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, can't think of his name. Uh, a TV show tonight is his thing one, thing two. Yeah. And everybody from Fox to ABC to RT, I mean, everybody's dealing with this like it's news. Well, because it is. Mm-hmm. I'm calling for some time. I've been saying now for the last, oh, probably a year, maybe, you know, a few months more. 2017 is going to be the year when this all hits the fan. This is now it. This is disclosure. It has begun. That's the upside. That's the good news. The bad news is I got a note from Stephen Greer this afternoon. He thinks this is a prelude for the fear porn factor. They're going to try to initiate us into some kind of interplanetary cosmic war. Mm. A la, remember Von Braun's list of all the things that would be happening before disclosure? Yes, terrorists and then include the terrorists Cold war. and asteroids. And finally, you get to aliens. Well, we don't know who's flying these craft. In fact, they, they could be flown by the breakaways. Mm-hmm. You know who those guys are, right? Yep. Okay, well, I mean, we don't know who's in them, but the fact that they're on the front page of the New York Times and they're on every major mainstream television network around the world, it has begun. And what we can't let happen is that it distracts us from the much deeper part of the iceberg, which they're not going to talk about, And they will continue to ridicule, which is all the decades of research that folks like me and my colleagues have been doing to basically open the door to the fact that we're not alone. We've never been alone. And the folks flying around in the skies may not be aliens. They may be family. Mm -hmm. And it says right here, Richard, uh, within this article, the the one that you sent me, um, uh, retired commander David Fravor. Is that how you say his name? That's his name. Yep. A, quote, I can tell you, I think it was not from this world. Forever told <laughs> ABC News. Now, this guy, he's very credible, Richard. This oh, isn't yeah. just Joe Blow kicking no. a can on the street. No, no, no. The fact that this is all being set up with such a nice frame, this is official PSYOPs 101. 
we are being now led like cattle down a chute to whatever their conclusion is of what we are confronting. Our job is not to go down the chute. Our job is to now use this as a, as a mechanism to look at all the research, the incredible panoply of research over the last, you know, almost 100 years that says if these guys were a threat, you and I would not be having this conversation, mm-hmm. period. And, so the uh, fact that you're looking at high-tech vehicles doesn't mean diddly you know what. Mm-hmm. It only means that they have finally decided to tell us because we're on their timetable for letting us in on a part of reality. And our job is to bust through the door and get to the rest of the reality that they're going to try mightily to continue covering up. Or the rest of the story. Now, because right here it says Pentagon's mysterious UFO program revealed. Okay, what did your gut tell you, Richard? What does your gut tell you with this? Is it ours? Or theirs, theirs meaning ET, because right here it says Pentagon's mysterious UFO program revealed. So are they claiming that this is theirs just to keep the hysteria at bay? I don't know. On the story, they're not claiming this is a top secret program, are they? A well, top secret U.S. program? Well, with this video, it says the truth is out there. Pentagon's mysterious UFO program revealed. Now, I don't know exactly. I haven't read the full article on this on this one. I've read other articles. But uh, it says, let me see, forever stunning retelling of his encounter off the California coast with what appeared to be a 40 foot long uh, wingless object that flew at incredible speeds in a erratic pattern comes at the Pentagon revealed the existence of a secret program to investigate sightings of UFOs. The program was shut down in 2012 because of other budget priorities. See, that's the, the part, that's the part I think is total CRAP. All right. Mm hmm. If you're the U.S. Defense Department, you're the military, and you get high-tech footage from people you know, because you put them in uniform and put them in those birds, and you get this back on the ground, and you don't know who they are, would you stop the program? How dumb do they think we are? Exactly. Exactly. And it says right here, this, this guy, this commander, this commander, quote, I have never seen anything in my life in my history of flying that has the performance, the acceleration, keep in mind, this thing had no wings, Fravor said. Yeah. Well, you can see it in the video. It, it, it's not long. It's wide. It's a 40-foot disc. You know, we know the numbers because you got, you know, clear heads-up display. You got all that number stuff on the right. You know, you got radar. Um, th- this, is, this, is a, this is a smoking gun. Mm -hmm. The classic cliched smoking gun. Now, can you imagine this is the only piece of video they have? No. (laughs) Hell no, Richard. Hell no. Exactly. So, yeah. All right. They're going to try to get us to think in certain ways. They're also going to try for some bizarre reason to make us think that the Pentagon, once they've identified, you know, unknown guys flying around in ships that can make F-18s look like they're, you know, a kid's toy that they stopped looking. Oh, we had other budget priorities. I mean, they only funded this program to the tune of what, over five years, 22 mil? That's not even coffee money in the Pentagon. Hmm. Exactly. And he also states within this article, I'm just kind of covering the article for the people that may not be familiar with this, but what planet are they living on if they are not familiar with this article or with this story? But he gets close enough to see a couple of objects come out of the bottom. And then all of a sudden it takes off and goes right off the side of the screen and like takes off. Fravor said he has, I'm telling you, he, this guy, he this Fravor, this commander, he is stating some very incredible, mm-hmm. like just wordplay terminology, whatever you want to say. Yep. Like you don't hear people like this very often talking like this because because now if he wasn't a commander, okay, maybe he's just a nut job, a lunatic, or whatever, a tinfoil hat wearing people like me and you, Richard, maybe. But with, <laughs> <laughs> but with him, a commander now, hopefully, just like you said, this is real disclosure and people do take this seriously. Well, I was waiting since the story appeared over the weekend in the New York Times. Remember, for the mainstream, for the upper elites, for the one-tenth of one percent that run the world, 
The New York Times is one of their favored uh, institutions for leaking stuff. You know, that the rest of us mm-hmm. suspect is there, but we haven't had confirmation. I was waiting to see then who would pick it up and whether it would be treated as the 30 second kicker at the end of the news hour, which they've been doing for decades. You know, the funny UFO story, and then they both laugh, and then mm-hmm. you go to commercial. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> There's no laughter. There's also, interestingly enough, no one is getting out of the fear box on this. They're just putting it out there straight. So maybe we'll luck out. Maybe this is not a campaign uh, to begin, you know, for the invasion of the, you know, planet snatchers. But given that that's how they've been treating all the other stuff we're dealing with, we just have to be on our guard and not be led down the wrong uh, canyon.